Hello there YouTube, this is Octopus and today I'm going to show you how to make a listener class for your bucket plugin. Now this uh, it's kind of important <laughs> you could say uh, pretty much every plugin you make will probably be using a listener class because the listener class will pick up on any events that happen such as a player joining, a player leaving, a player attacking another player or even just two entities uh, such as mobs attacking each other doesn't have to have anything to do with the player. It could be just um, it could be when uh, a log gets broken down. It could be when any block gets broken down. Uh, it could be any number of things. It could hook into other plugins, but um, we're gonna keep it simple and we're gonna just do it based on a join and um, maybe even some leave messages. But for just for the start, we're gonna do join messages. So first, what we're gonna do is open up our Eclipse editor here. Perfect. And you can see here we've got our old Hello World 2 uh, project here opened up. And I've actually got a listener class here called My First Listener. I'm going to go ahead and recreate that so you can see how that's done. Okay. So you're going to right click your package here and then click New Class. All right. And we're going to type the name of the class. I suggest giving it a descriptive name such as like if Hello World was the name of your uh, plugin, you might say Hello World Listener or HW Listener, something like that maybe. But I'm going to go with my first listener, nice and simple. Matches the plain vibe that this plugin has going. There you go, a nice blank boilerplate template. Alright, so I'm going to add some space here. And you can see we've got our package declaration, we've got our, our method for the class, the overall method. And we're going to need what's called a constructor here. Now first, we're going to need to type this. This is very important. Make sure you have it. Implement listener. That'll make it a listener. Oh, you'll have to import listener from bucket as well. This makes it a listener class. This means it can listen for events. Uh, next up, we're going to do the constructor. Like I said, we're just going to type public so it can be accessed. And then my first listener. That's just the name of it. I'm going to keep the same as the uh, listener class itself. And then we're going to have arguments that we can pass into it. Uh, variables. And this one I'm going to do the main class and call it plugin. This will just allow us to uh, get the main class in our listener class so we can access the information between them freely. Though it's not really necessary right now, I suggest creating it for the future. Uh, the next step is to add the event handler. So after you've got your constructor here, I'm going to type a comment. That's two lines here. That's a comment. This one, this can be whatever you want after in the, the two uh, slashes here. It won't affect the code. Next up, we're going to need the event handler. And this is what is an event handler. You need to get it exactly like this. Caps the same. Symbols the same. Starting from here, you need the, the at symbol, and then you need event handler, just like that. And without any brackets, go down to the next line and type in public void on player join. And that is going to be the name of your class, or your method, I mean, I'm sorry, on player join. And we're going to pass a player join event, just like that, player join event named event into it. We're going to have to import player join event from bucket. You'll see it right here. That's just one of the many events. There's such things as player leave event, uh, entity damage event, entity damage by entity event, and so forth. Uh, uh, there's one for basically everything in Minecraft. And then we're going to need to import event handler as well after we have uh, imported the player join event here. And finally add our brackets opening and close. Now we have an, uh, an event handler listening for the player join. So what we're going to do is type the uh, variable here, event, and we're going to get the player, alright, the player that has joined, and we're going to send them a message. Alright, so we're going to do two quotations in the middle and the, the message will just simply be hola. Save that right there. 
And now we're going to do the final step. Go to your main class here. Go to on enable. And you're going to register your listener class. Now this is very important. A lot of people skip over this, myself included. Uh, you'll sit there and wonder why is my plugin working but this one little thing I just added isn't. It's probably because you forgot to register your listeners. So always remember to register every single listener class you make. Okay? So this is how you do it. On enable, you type in plugin manager, just like that. You can give it whatever name you want. I am gonna name it PM, nice and easy. Equals get server like that. Dot get plugin manager. Just like that. You're going to import plugin manager from uh, org.bucket.plugin, not the first one, that Apache one, no. You're going to want it from bucket, make sure you get bucket. All right. And then we're going to name it after our listener class. So we're going to we're going to have a import of our listener class there. And we're, the variable's name is going to be listener. It's going to be a new my first listener. This is where the constructor will be called. You see our constructor my first listener takes a main plugin. So we created a my first listener variable named listener. It's a new and we got the constructor here. My first listener, this. This is the main uh, class that we passed in. And it's the plugin that will be called variable. Just wanted to clear that up in case anyone has any questions. Uh, though it's a pretty simple job to be honest. And finally we're gonna do PM, which is our plugin manager dot register event events plural sorry and the first argument is going to be the listener class it's our variable here the listener or whatever you called it and then we're also going to add this which is our main class here the plugin itself all right so you can see register event takes a listener argument and a plugin argument Alright, so that registers the listener with the plugin. Once you've got that, you go ahead and save and do your export. Make sure you only get plugin.yml, not the class path or the project. And we're going to find our file here, um, hello world2.jar, or whatever you named it, .jar, put it in your plugins folder. Go ahead and hit finish, it'll compile, and it's about ready to go. All right, so we're going to go ahead and open up here our server folder. And there we go. Looks like it's about loaded. So we're going to go ahead and jump in. And you can see we've got our message down there. Hola, as I joined the game. Very simple, straightforward. Whoa, uh, nice, easy little message. Um, you know, you're thinking, well, what's the use of sending a message? That's not too great. That's that's a nice feature, but that's not, you know, powerful. Well, imagine, you know, when someone joins, you could say teleport them to a new location, so essentially control the spawn, and send them a title message, so they they get a you know like a welcoming message, and then set off a firework uh, display on them, so they get a nice little, you know welcome fireworks sort of thing going on you, you know you can get imaginative very creative with this sort of stuff so um, that's what we're gonna do the next uh, video we're gonna go ahead and send some messages to the players uh, the different kinds of messages with the uh, chat colors and whatnot so they're gonna be a little more advanced than these plain white ones so I hope you're tuning in and check it out uh, just subscribe to my channel and you'll get to see more of these plugin tutorials and uh, I hope this helps have a good one